Okay, let's get started. If you've not installed WPL, let's go to add a new plugin and just search for WPL. And this is the one I'm going to talk about in this video Real Tina Organic IDX plugin plus WPL real estate. Let's go to the dashboard. And from here, you can see all the different functions that you can perform. You have different uh, add-ons, uh, change log, and so forth. Okay, let's go to data structure. We have our property types, residential, commercial, land, farm. A lot of standard. I added storage, vacation home, and villa. And if you need to add another category, just select the plus button here and add listing types pretty much this I didn't go to that let's uh, for sale for rent vacation rental how about timeshare let's add a timeshare And the category will be rental. Um, how do we want to represent this? I'm just going to leave that blank for right now. Because I have no idea. And let's go to unit manager. I'm not going to mess with this. This is self-explanatory. And as well as that and room types the one thing I did was um, well several things I added the laundry room story room study room family room let's add a home theater theater and how about a game room that's not already added is it let's go um, yeah, let's add a game room. And let's move on to flex. And flex is just the basic information, basic details, features. Do we need any other features? We got cooling, heating, Basement balcony, parking furnished. How about, oh, there's a the view. I was gonna put a view there. Let's go to appliances. And we'll leave that for right now. I'll let you look at dress map, study our neighborhood. Let's go to image gallery and video. What does add on video mean? I've tried this earlier and I couldn't get the video to show. So I'm going to have to, I think that's part of the pro version. What I'm showing you here is the free version. Attachments. I just leave that as well. And specialties. Okay. I'm going to move on. Let's go to locations. I am just concerned with the United States, so I'll just set leave it at the defaults. Let's go to settings. And we are good here. Now when you're installing WPL, if you did not select install the sample video or sample some properties you can add them here from the settings page let's go to activity manager and we'll leave that go to notifications I will leave that as well user manager we can list other real estate agents go to my personal profile change that add a listing 
let's check before we do that let's go to listing manager and see what property types we have here and let's view this one okay and that's where the Google map would show up now like I said I could not get the video to show on or I could not get it to show on the page and I think that's because you have to go with the paid version let's go back organic IDX this is interesting you can there's a trial version there's a full version I'm not I don't have access to either one I'm not uh, I don't have access to IDX I'll let you discover that hosting benchmarker is something new um, a while back I several years ago I recorded another walkthrough of WPL and this was not in that so this will test out your your server that your website is hosted on to make sure it can actually uh, perform well I'm not going to do that because I have this on my personal NAS and there's no need to do that but let's go back to add listing and this is where all those features that we set up in the data structure and flex would show up and if I had a video which I'm not going to do I do have a video but I don't uh, want to upload it because it doesn't work in this free version one question that has come up is how do I enable search okay well, let's go to the site let's go to properties and you'll see the search feature here this is something that I had to add now, let me show you how I did that let's go back to the dashboard and you would think that you would be able to add search through the WPL but it's actually added from the theme itself let's go to customize and then let's go to oh, click the wrong one let's go to properties and it's in your widgets and this is where you would determine where you wish to put the search feature Okay. Let's put it in listing top and then always get rid of that little advertisement there. And from here, this is the basics. But what you want to do is open up the view fields. And this is where you could scroll through these listings down here at the bottom and add clicked it too soon let's go back and let's add list date just drag and click and drag and then we do not need to reorder actually I'm going to put this at the top and let's let it refresh Okay, do I need to do a refresh myself? Let's do that. Back to properties. And why didn't that take? All right, let's go back down to widgets. Property listing top. And let's open the fields again. And for some odd reason, it did not take but we'll add it back in. Okay. That was just the list date. Let's drag that on there. And there is no finalize button or no area. What am I missing here? I'm going to drag this up here to 
right here it lists at the second position. All right. Ah. Uh, it just, it did not put it in the place I thought it would put it. Let's see if we can fix that. List type, list date. Okay, that's not making any sense to me. Let it refresh. Okay, it is what it is. At least it's on there. And I'll have to figure out why. Well, that's obviously not going to work. But let's go back. Let's say here's our what we added timeshare vacation rental for rent. And let's just go with that. And we bring back everything. And that's the WPL, in a nutshell, from Real Tina. <laughs>